Alright, so Dumbledore, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Harry Potter's a troublemaker, and Ronald Weasley's fat, ugly, and completely stupid in pretty much every way you can think of. Also, he's a very uncool person, has hardly any friends. He thinks I'm his friend, but I hate him. And God, I wish he would fall off a cliff. That's probably what you're thinking, right? No? Alright, well, I am. Anyway, so, I'd like to tell you, I'm not the troublemaker here. The troublemaker here is two people. One, Ronald Weasley and his alligator, which he killed. Mm. It's supposed to be the end. And two, Barack Obama. What are the chances that as soon as he's elected president, our economy starts spiraling down towards a path of doom? Only a Kenyan could do that to America. Uh, let me tell you something. You've got expelled I'm because ex of what you did to the tree. You can't expel me, Dumbledore. I'm a good student. I am. I'm sorry, Harry. It's just... It's on a table pool, so... Oh, you, you clever oh, kid. You old yeah. retard. You Dumbledore. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, that's a good yeah. joke. That was funny. Yeah. That was smart. Clever. Yep, anyway, so, uh, you got the tension, though. Oh, oh. Yep, you anyway. got it with the, uh, sorting out. Lady so I'll just leave you here with your one. Peace This is the tension. All of you are juvenile delinquents at Hell Hat that will have no life ahead of you. You won't get married, you'll die alone. Your gravestone will be plunged by small children at the age of eight. You will get buried up alive, taking the bones out of it, ground up into a fine powder, then thrown at people for fun. That's what your life has been reduced to. So just shut up and work. And Ron, you take that mask off your face. I don't care if you're on this one, you have a mugshot. Take it off. No. Okay. Professor McGonagall, I'm doing this crossword puzzle, and I was just wondering, what's the 16 letter phrase for a secret underground passage? Un their Hogwarts that has immense magical powers, hidden relics, and other things that students should never find because they can kill people with them and they'll take over their souls and, you know, just possess them. Man, I thought I would have taken a shot in the dark, I'd have said. Damn, Chamber of Secrets, so. Well, Harry, uh, now that you know my dirty little secret. No! Professor McGonagall, listen! If anyone wants to know about the Chamber of Secrets, it should be the boy! With the lightning bolt on his head. Well, yes. I guess the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. So I'll have to tell you. When the school was founded, they always built a chamber underneath the school. Why? Every house has a basement. This was like the school's basement. And in there, you granted permission to all the evil people, like Tom Riddle. He spent most of his time down there making up really hard riddles that didn't make any sense and putting them in children's books with really poor animation, selling them for five ninety nine a copy, US dollars, and then making a giant profit, spending the rest of his life just swimming in a pool of chocolate. Right. That's not the point. He he put a bunch of evil down there, Harry. If you ever go down there, be warned. Be warned. One of what? Warned! Professor McGonagall? Hey, hey, happy Halloween. It's not even Harvard, is that you? Uh, I already. You're just your father. You're just your father. We've got so many animals. But no food for them. You see, I Hogwarts hasn't passed Levy in sixteen years. So my animals have been reduced to eating each other. I'm sorry, I Sorry for what, Hagrid? You haven't done anything wrong. You're just the school's poor. <laughs> animals kill each other for, for sustenance. That's not your fault. It's just that you're sucky at, you know, feeding them. 
There's no point in life anymore! Hagrid, no! Alright, so anyway, Dumbledore. So, I'm talking with Hagrid in his log cabin on stilts, alright? And he's he's a stone-cold alcoholic, as we all know, so he's draining a, a whole bottle of liquor, like, about that big, maybe. Alright, he's draining a bottle of liquor, alright, but he's spitting it up and everything, because he's so drunk that he's, like, barfing as he drinks, alright? So anyway, I'm talking to Hagrid, and he gives me this speech about how all of his animals kill each other for food, alright? So they're all killing each other, and then he says that's because the school's so poor, they can't afford food for a single one of his animals. It's not that we we can't afford it, so that we don't want to. Well, you see, Harry, we were planning on cutting Hagrid. Because care for magical creatures is just too easy. But everyone loves an easy, eh? Not me. When I was a boy, Harry, let me tell you a story in song. Oh! You see, Harry, when I was a boy, I didn't have any toys. The only thing that I had to comfort me was myself, myself and me. That's how I lived, that's how I rolled. Some people thought that I wasn't old. That's just it though, when I was really little, I was still old and really brittle. That's how I roll, Harry, on the hood. You don't think I do that great for that, so I live in the wood. If you don't believe me, then let me say this is a very beautiful day. I just got out of bed with my head on my shoulders again. Son, if you don't think that I'm good at rapping, then you better go back to school. I, I'm in school currently, Dumbledore. You do know that, right? I'm out. Dumbledore, you ah. idiots. <laughs>